So we were out yesterday with this machine, the 790 and the FD745 had right here. And we were seeing just extreme sickle cutter bar loss. It just, this is when I was cutting a half a head, so that built up there regardless, but it shouldn't have. But they're just, it, the sickle is just full of beans. Look at them all. Just solid with beans all over. That's something that we've never seen because we've always had the Crary Aerial. Well, going to a draper, everyone said, ah, you don't need a wind system on a draper unless you're in like dry beans or some short, short beans. Well, we're in really tall beans, but what we're seeing is the beans potted so low to the ground this year that we're cutting a lot of them pods in half and a lot of them beans are getting up on top of the sickle here, right in this rock dam here. And they're just sitting there and then they eventually fall off. Plus they're exploding all over and flying all over the place back down onto the ground. We estimate it to be about three to maybe four bushel an acre that's on the ground, which is terrible. Absolutely terrible. We're considering, we talked to Crary when we were up at Big Iron, they have a wind bar for this. It is not the Curry Aerial like we've been running for ever. Since the early 90s, we've ran the Curry Aerial and are very satisfied with it. So that's why we're looking at Curry for a wind system. I actually called them here a little bit ago and I think they're actually gonna be coming out with a 45 foot green and yellow wind system. And so this combine, I'm afraid, might not be out today. It's gonna be sitting in the shed and we're gonna be installing this thing. We're gonna see, they said about eight hour install with four guys. I told Eric, I said, well, we're both a guy and a half, so we'll get her done. So we're gonna get this thing, on, get that wind system on this beast today. Hopefully they're getting it loaded up as we speak, heading down from Fargo. So I'm a little nervous, but it definitely should pay for itself. I mean, we've seen the losses on the ground. That is evident that there's losses on the ground. We've always ran air system, so we're gonna see how this does. We tried it. That's what we told deer. They asked us if we were gonna put a wind system on it when we bought it, because they know that we're avid air system guys. And we said, no, we'll try it. Well, we tried it, and I'm not a fan of the losses off the sickle. So I'm gonna give you a side by side here, air on, air off. So here's the difference. I got the wind off right now. I got the GoPro out looking at it, uh, but you can see it's bunched up. It's it's not feeding. The reel can't get low enough to, to push them in. They're behind the head. This is exciting just for me to see. Now I'm gonna turn the air on from the cab here. We're gonna turn air open. Watch this. Blow them all right in. What a difference. I. Unbelievable. We're now pretty much, I would say 99% of them are going in. This is why we ran an aerial on our headers for literally since 1992. We've been running the Prairie Air Reel, not the wind system. We thought we could get away with a draper without a wind system. <laughs> Boy, were we wrong. This is a night and day difference. This is a perfect, perfect test plot. Okay, if that view out there wasn't good enough for you, I'm gonna put you right at the center of the feeder house where all the crop rides the belt to the center and do a side-by-side -side wind on, wind off. Once again, guys, it's up to you if you wanna run a wind system or not. I'm just here showing you how a Curry wind system can benefit your farm. You gotta, I mean, it's as night and day differences. Turning the light on, walking into the wall or leaving the light off and walking in the wall. Obviously, you ain't gonna walk into the wall with the light on, I hope. Is that a good analogy? I feel like that was a terrible analogy.
All you farmers, a lot of money. That's what I think. Your eyes are open. That was, this is, I'm having so much fun with this because it is so easy to show the benefits of this product. It's unreal. It's just a night and day difference. I hope the GoPro footage is as good, if not better, than what I can see out of the cab because it picks up the ground speed. It actually comes into the head. You don't just run it over. It's awesome. It excites me. It excites me so much. Okay, you see what's happening right now? They were blowing actually out of the head, up and over it. So if you get into those situations for a long stretch, you just turn your wind, and there's an indicator down there on the fan. You just turn it down, and you actually choke the air off so the fan don't blow as much, and it still feeds them in, and it also doesn't blow them back out of the head. So that's awesome, awesome feature. Another cool thing is I actually can get out, like I was showing you before, I needed to adjust it. I should have brought the remote with, because I can actually go out there, adjust the fore and aft, and the wind. So you could have someone driving beside you adjusting it. You could get out yourself, visually look to see where it's pointing, and adjust it to where you think it is. We've always had prairie aerial, so we know what it looks like when the wind ain't adjusted properly. So I never really did use this at all, but it is a cool feature. And I hope I'm not boring you guys with what might seem like an advertisement, but it isn't. I am just honestly telling you, if you think that you can get by without a wind system, no, here's the difference. I'm trying to help benefit other farmers. That's why also an awesome thing that I get to do with having a YouTube channel is be able to help other farmers. Turn this one down. Okay, let's harvest. Barman. Harvested. And speaking of that prairie wind system that we put on there, guys, I'm sold. It, that thing's awesome. Our, our soybean headers will probably always have a wind system on them from now on. custom work and whenever you get into smaller beans you need the air to push it on through the gutter bar that the, the reel can't get itself. We pick up customers from having it and it's we always get more beans. Pretty much a must for soybeans and uh, pinto beans and black beans. Money will come back tenfold every year. I would say anywhere from one to you know two, two bushels an acre in the combine versus being on the ground. Notice that there's uh, way less uh, shelling down in the field and it blows all the uh, crop into the head a lot better and a lot more even feeding and I don't think I'd buy a head without one on there. We turn it on and off and uh, can, we notice in wheat about a bushel or two. A lot better feeding on beans, especially short beans. Oh, I'd say we probably pick up towards two bushel an acre. It also feeds smoother. Very quick recovery. We had a draper for a few years and it was a good machine, but putting a carrier air reel on it made it an excellent machine.